We'll get a Spencer special. So last one forward for the John Pierce Racing Golden Stakes. Who is going to make the running here? Line the stars coming out. We took away the most likely pace setter, and it is very slow early. Three of them lined abreast. Jan Bruegel on the inside of Bellum Justum. On the outside is Maidan, and dropped in Sayadati. Sadati is three lengths off the trio, who make their way now climbing uphill and swinging right-handed. Jan Bruegel and Maidan being kept wider out by Tom Marquand. And Maidan, it appears, is going to be sent on. So Maidan, it is who leads. Jan Bruegel takes second place. In third is Bellum Justum, and last of the quartet is Sayadati Sadati and Maidan, just as they breast the rise and have this little bit of a downhill run, has grabbed hold of the bridle here, hurdled the crossing as well, so he's full of zest, and that has increased the tempo markedly. Jan Bruegel, three lengths down, just for a moment or two, Ryan Moore just pushing along to keep tabs on the keen-going leader pace complex of this has changed markedly in the last quarter mile. Bellum just was in fourth place and Sayadati Sadati. Jamie Spencer will be more than happy to see the pace having lifted. And May Darn has charged off here, looking to get track position. And Ryan Moore's mindful of it on Jan Bruegel, who's a big long striding horse. Uh, he's five to six lengths down. Even Jamie Spencer on Sayadati Sadati is just moving a little closer to Bellum Justum. Those two representing the Derby form as out in the lead. May Darn has broken 12 seconds for a furlong there. Jan Bruegel's five to six lengths away. Bellum Justum's three lengths down, and last of all, Sayadati Sadati. So Maidan turns at the highest point of the course, now just trying to fill the tank, has the advantage. Jan Bruegel has been pushing and shoving, but he's getting a lot closer now as they run downhill. Three to four lengths back to Bellum Justum, and then Sayadati Sadati. And Jan Bruegel, Ryan Moore is not going to let this horse lose any momentum, pushing along, coming to challenge Maidan a long way from home. Bellum Justum in third, Sayadati Sadati waiting in the wing. So now battle is joined. Maidan, yellow jacket on the left Jan Bruegel ridden along maroon and blue the other two getting closer Bellum Justum and on the inside Sayadati Sadati who switches to follow and now move to the outside of Jan Bruegel Jan Bruegel hard work got to the front but he's a grinder rather than a quickener and Bellum Justum and Sayadati Sadati now begin to throw down their challenges Maidan is spent Jan Bruegel putting out enough at the moment Bellum Justum in second Sayadati Sadati a little short of room the meat in the Sandwich on the outside, Bellum Justum, Oshin Murphy, the inside, Ryan Moore on Jan Bruegel, and Jan Bruegel is doing enough. He keeps on rolling to win the Gordon Stakes by half a length from Bellum Justum, Sayadati Sadati and Maidan. He does nothing quickly, but he does keep on doing it. And Jan Bruegel never really given a moment's peace by Ryan Moore, who was mindful, I think, that he needed to keep the revs up. Held off the sustained challenge at Bellum Justum, eventually by about a neck or so. Sayadati Sadati was about five lengths further back at the line in third place. He gives the impression he's a slow learner, does Jan Bruegel. But Ryan Moore was very, very aware of his idiosyncrasies. He's unbeaten in three. And I suppose on the back of that, the St. Ledger, and certainly staying trips, look prospects. So he's giving weight to the field. He was 7-1 to one for the Betfred St. Ledger. We'll find out in a second what price he is now. First impression, Jason Weaver. Very good, considering coming down the hill, he had his nose back in Ryan's lap the whole way. He went to the front. He's won the race about three times on the run to the line. Gone there, pulled up, waits for somebody. Down the outside, Bellum Justum, who's got his nose down. Look at him, he is on the back of his neck, trying real hard. Whereas the winner, he's like, well, are we, are we racing? What are we doing? Is it time to go? Lots of, lots of potential there. So you like him. With regards to the ledger at Doncaster, live on ITV, the sponsors bet Fred, go four to one from six to one. Los Angeles, the three to one favorite, then Jan Bruegel at four to one with Illinois. Highbury at 15 to two, all trained by Aidan O'Brien. Could be quite a choice for Ryan Moore. Yeah, it'd be really fascinating to hear from Ryan now. He's won this race six, uh, five times, now six. 